Well, hello there. This is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone out there is doing fantastic today. So why am I here today? Well, I'm still trying to clean out to that lovely jewelry slash storage slash catch-all closet. Um, I know I've only made, I think it's one video so far, um, but you know, things have been happening. So I haven't had a chance to follow up from the first uh, video. Um, wow, you know, you would never know that this in person doesn't look like there's anything white on it. Oh my goodness. Anyway, hi, I'm Kirsten. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. It is free. It takes a second. If you would like to uh, know when I do upload videos or when I have my live sales, click that notification bell. If you don't want to know, don't click that bell. <laughs> Anyway, and if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I do appreciate it very, very much. So what I'm doing is trying to be uh, organized, going through a big, messy, nasty closet. There is a part one to this video. If I remember, I'll try to link it. Um, I don't do these kind of videos often, so um, bear with me. Anyway, so I have this. I'm just going to move the camera somewhere. So I have this, like, box. I'm still working on the flipping first box, everyone. I know. And what I'm doing is going through it and I'm making little lots up. Like, so we've got a really large brooch lot. Like, I don't even know how many brooches are in here, but a bunch. Um, I'm going to do like a craft lot and then a resale lot, I think. I don't know. I'm just going to do lots of lots. Now, I do have dogs. It's the middle of the day and my dogs are barky dogs. Um, if there's a mailman, a mail lady, mail carrier, FedEx, UPS, a dirt ball flying down the street, they bark. I. I can't help it. I do apologize in advance. So I'm literally just going to pull stuff from this um, box and uh, see. What really, see, I think it looks like at some point I was trying to be organized because I do have some things in baggies. So I'll just let's look at this. I don't have a loop. That was stupid. Okay, well, you know. Okay, so what's this? Oh, boy. And, like, you know, during my sales, I mostly do, like, you know, sterling and, I do do some costume, but like, you know, you get a lot of jewelry. You just end up with a lot of jewelry and a lot of it, I, I don't know what to do with. So I just kind of throw it away and shut the door. So this, uh, who is this? This looks like Joan Rivers, is it? Let's see. Uh, can I see that? Yes, this is Joan. Joanie, hi, Joanie. Hi. Uh, Joan Rivers. Um, it's an okay piece, you know, I don't know. <laughs> And I, also, if you don't know me, I'm sometimes a little, uh, I'm brutally honest. Um, and uh, if you don't like, you know, just someone telling it like it is, this might not be for you. Um, I'm going to try to be tame, though. I'm not going to throw things today. I really, I'm going to try not to. This is okay. It's not the best Joan Rivers piece I've ever seen. I do like the chain, though. I think this is a great piece. Um, it's in really great condition. Uh, this, eh, eh, I don't really like that at all. But this will go into a... They'll go into a lot. This will go into like a smaller type of lot though. Um, obviously it's wearable and resellable, um, but this will probably go into like a gold tone lot or maybe a, I don't know, na name brand lot. I promised you a dog bark and there we go. Hopefully they won't go crazy. So we got this little Joni Rivers. Um, I'll put somewhere, I don't know what this, okay. Oh, look at this. Evidently I was trying to be organized at some point. Well, that was nice of me for future me. Okay, let's see what's in this. Oh boy, here we go with chains. Oh, please, please, please. I am not one. I'm not patient. Okay, so we've got a, it's, it's a little, <laughs> yee, that sucks. It's a little smashed in there. These are like really difficult to pop back out. It can be done. Not hanging over a camera, not really seeing what you're doing. So I'm going to not mess with it too much. So this is just, besides the dent in it, um, a really nice, you know, rich colored, obviously not real gold. Because if this was real gold, I'd be running somewhere and I'd be selling this and getting cash and buying more jewelry. <laughs> or maybe paying the bill. Kids tuition. Who knows? Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to make a gold lot. Or no, not real gold. Gold tone lot. Because this seems to be all gold tone here. So here we go. Let's start with the lot. Now, I'm not selling anything individually. Uh, unless I state so. But I highly doubt there's going to be anything in here that I would sell individually. Um, I will be doing lots. So if anyone is interested in any of the lots that I'm mentioning, please, I will have my uh, registration form in the description box in this video. And all it is, is when you see the title of this video, it'll say like more, you click that little area and a whole little paragraph will pop up. And it'll just be like, 
you know, information either on this video or who I am or how to register if you'd like to purchase with me, like that kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah, anyway, um, so we've got this little, it feels like glass. That's cute, it's in really nice condition. Obviously I was trying, oh, it's in what? 1928 that company okay so yeah i am doing right now as we speak live actions not live but um i'm doing a gold tone lot so if anybody is interested in this just let me know i've got this little number one mom now there's something that i feel is suspicious in here when i say suspicious because i might think you'd be surprised you know what you find in these big bundles that you've gone through 10 times every now and then you find a piece of gold or something cool Now, I don't know if this is real garnet. I'm not going to start testing things right now, everyone. So it's either glass or garnet, okay? Uh, gold tone. Um, but you, they do, back, especially like in the 70s and 80s, I've come across a lot of things that were gold-filled or gold tone or gold-plated that had real gemstones in it. Um, and it's just to keep the cost down. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, not everything is just, you know, uh, glass. You know, there are things. But there's things that look like gemstones that are glass. So... You know, if it really bothers you, make sure you test it or learn how to see with the loop what's real, what's not. I don't know. I'm still learning. It's a never-ending process. Like, this is an example. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if these are glass or stone, but it's very sweet. It's very well made. Um, I'm assuming this one's not real gold. Yeah, no, it's not real gold. Um, now, I am one that um, I'm known to... Uh, taste things because <laughs> uh you know gold certain golds and silvers and plates whatever have a distinct i know it's gonna sound gross uh taste and smell um and my allergies are really bad right now if you can't hear it um but i will not taste any of your jewelry don't worry and if i do you'll never know about it because i sanitize it <laughs> this is cute just like a little celluloid flower are you still here i know i probably just freaked everybody out i'm not the only person who does this i know for a fact anyway it's not pica either. You know what pica is? I'm sure you all are so smart, so much smarter than me, most of you. So pica, uh, when you have that urge, a lot of pregnant women get it, animals get it. I had a dog that had it, an urge to eat like rocks and uh, grass and bark and sometimes things that are actually really dangerous. So if you ever have one of those weird urges, um, go see a doctor. That's my little shooting star, the more you know moments. Oh, this is pretty, sort of like the little one right there with the red glass or whatever <sighs> see I don't know why I just I had good intentions obviously because I did try to put all these gold pieces together but oh and this was tangled okay I do not do all tangles <laughs> okay shh breathe just breathe girl breathe okay what's this well I just sighed let me get a, a, a loop I know I should already have this out I'm sorry what does this one say? It says, oh, it's Sarah Cove. Sarah Coventry. There we go. It's, these are all in really good condition. I'm surprised. Like, there's not wear to any of this stuff. This one's nice. I like this. Look at the big, thick chain. I've got this. A little bit of wear to this pendant. I don't know if that's supposed to be on there, but that's not leaving it. Ew, cute, but very cool. Okay, so look at that. We've got this little little gold lot. So I'm going to do this gold tone lot. Um, I might add to it. Let's see how many pieces are in this. We have one, two, three, oh, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to throw this in there too. Why not? Nine and this one, 10. So you get 10 necklaces in this lot. Um, and, um, you saw you saw what they were so this will be one this is the gold tone lot so if anybody is interested shoot me an email um and i'll probably add because it's what i do when people buy lots i like to add little things in the end because why not why wouldn't i you know I'm like no skin off my back okay oh look at that is this enough for a lot i don't know let's see what's in this one who knows i don't it's been such a long time since i've gone through any of this so let's see if this one is cute or not so obviously this is all silver tone so we have this with like a this is heavy what is that i guess it's just enamel just enamel on here it's not like a real claw or anything but it is very heavy we have a oh these are big rhinestones different stations you know 
these are actually nice when you layer them all up with like pearls, faux pearls, real pearls, anything. Really nice. Okay, so that will be in that lot too. What's this? This is Brighton. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. It looks like Brighton, but I don't see a, it's saying Brighton or anything, but so Brighton-esque looking. It's in really, it's in like perfect condition. No, no wear to it or anything. We got this little guy. Just some plain silver. These are silver tone, aren't they? Yeah. Silver tone chains. Oh, that's so cute. Little total like 70s looking, you know, uh, touristy Native American piece, but so sweet. Okay, so this is a littler, littler, is that a word? That's not proper English, this is a smaller lot. So what do we have here? I'll have to add to this. We have three, four, five, six, seven. How about this? How about this? I'm gonna do the silver and gold lot as one big lot, but I'll just separate it. So you'll get, I think this is 17 necklaces. Let's just do this. I think that's cooler because not everyone wants just all gold tone or silver tone. So, this will be lot number one. Lot number one. So, if anybody is interested, just say, Kirsten, lot number one. And I should probably write that down so I know what you're talking about if you email me. Now, the whole point of these videos um, were for me to go through stuff and uh, either donate cra you know, crafts to... Someone told me there's like like St. Vincent de Paul, like some, or uh, retirement communities, um, they like to get these like, like craft, they're not necessarily whole, you know, not ones that are sellable or wearable, but like crafting lot. Um, and so I'm gonna try that out. But so this is lot number one. If anybody's interested, um, I, don't, I, I wasn't thinking of prices right now. So um, I don't know, email me and I'll do it in a flat rate. And that will be, the shipping cost will be included in my cost. So if you're interested, email me and I'll let you know the price. So there's that. Lot one, you get the, what is it? How many necklaces? What was it? <laughs> I don't even know. 17, 20? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's cool. That's a lot. Oh boy, everyone. This is just a big, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, what is it on? Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, I'm trying it. It's all wrapped up on weird stuff here, so. Ooh, I am known to break stuff and just be mean to my jewelry, and that's not good. So I'm going to try to be gentle. Okay. So this is Napier. Obviously, this is a more modern Napier. It's all intact, though. It's in really good condition. I don't see any wear to it at all. So, yeah. I'm just doing lots. I think it's just going to be easier. A little silver. Oh, this is Trafari. It is. There you go. A little Trafari chain. Okay. Ooh. If you're going to see, some people like watching this. I don't know. God bless you all for wanting to watch this stuff. I, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. It's just so frustrating. I don't even like untangling. I don't like watching people untangle either. It's not, it's just one of those, I don't know. Oh my God, I'm going to break this. I'm totally about to break this rose gold looking, whatever this is. Did I break it? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is fun. This is a fun, fun, you know, vintage. What was it? When did they make these? Was this the 70s when they did these um, faux, you know, so faux squash blossoms and faux turquoise and, you know, anyway. We've got a bolo. Now, okay, listen, listen. Call me weird, whatever, but um, I like bolos. I wear them like it's a necklace when I choose to wear necklaces because... I'm not a huge, I love necklaces. I just don't tend to wear them that often. But um, I'm just making a weird funky lot right now, okay? So <laughs> it might not have any rhyme or reason. Oh boy. Okay, this is, yeah, this is pretty. This is all beaded. These glass, hold on. Um, the flower petals are acrylic. Um, I think, I don't know. Yeah, okay. The flower petals are acrylic, but all the small beads are glass. This is all handmade. And I used to do beading. I don't know how I ever thought I had patience because I really didn't, but obviously I, I had more than I do now. Um, I pulled out some and sent them to, pictures to us, 
a couple people last night because we were talking about it. And uh, my mother-in-law, I'll just tell you a little story time. My mother-in-law at one point, long, long time ago, um, I want to say 15 years ago, bought me a loom. Um, and because uh, I was trying to do it by hand, it was very hard to not do it with a loom. Anyway, and um, I remember it was a living nightmare. <laughs> It was literally a living nightmare for me. Now, this one I can't put in a lot because it has too much wear, unfortunately. Um, these are cute all down here. It's Lisa Savia. This one can go in a crafter's lot. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's crafter's lot. Blech. Okay. Anyway, um, but I did make some stuff with it. Um, and then finally, I just said, I'm done. <laughs> I can't. It's just, it was very time consuming. And, you know, those pieces don't get what they should get. I'm telling you, the hand beaded stuff is very, very time consuming and difficult. And I don't know, I, you know, they're selling for like pennies now and it's so stupid. They should go for hundreds of dollars in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so this is a little statement. Are all the pieces there? Let's see. I think so. Do you see any missing? I don't think I see any missing. Okay, well, let me just look, not on the camera, let's see. I think this is all, hmm, yeah, I think so. Okay, well, there you go. You get a, Little statement piece, not that little, it's actually big and chunky. I do have this pile, I'm not like just you know pulling things out of nowhere land. Um, um, Ely, I don't know what is this. Well, I just saw my famous person, I was like, can't think of to say it just says made in the USA, so so yay, it's made in the USA, but um, I don't like it. It's kind of poo-poo. It's poo-poo. Okay, now, don't get mad. I'm being honest. If I don't like something, I'm not going to sell it. Okay, so, sorry. This, on the other hand, I do like. I think this was mine. How did this even get over here? Oh, who knows? I don't know how. This is Monet. Like, the bamboo looking. There's a little bit of wear, but I love it. It's strung on a chain. But since it's over here, it goes into that lot, I guess. Let's see. And we have got this big chunky necklace. Who's that? No, what does that say? What does it say? Oh my gosh. So sorry, everyone. Um, it says, oh, this is stainless steel. Wow, this whole thing's stainless steel. No wonder why this is heavy. So the beauty of stainless steel is it is a metal and it's not gonna do anything. It's like, unless you're allergic to it, but most people are not allergic to stainless steel. Um, and uh, it'll stay bright and shiny if you don't put all sorts of weird lotions and stuff on it. Cause I have had stainless steel, like that's that little bit of a rainbow effect, but that can be cleaned easily. So it's actually a nice necklace, you know, it's big solid. If you don't, if you're allergic to sterling or don't want to spend the money on sterling, something like this can give that look. Cause this is really lovely. It's really well-made. Well, I'm impressed with that, but I'm not going to sell it separately. So look at this. This is going to be a nice big lot um, of all cool wearable or fairly cool. I don't know. Oh no! Oh, boy, here we go. Don't scream. Now, if I if I can't deal with the tangles, then um, then yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Then I this evidently will be a very short video. <laughs> God help me. Well, I hope everyone's okay out there. I know, you know, I've had some friends that were affected horribly um in Texas by the storms or anything like that, and I just you know really hope that everyone there's enough stuff in this world to deal with, and then you throw bad weather and. I'm not going to get into politics, but climate control and blah, 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 blah. And it's just a scary place sometimes, you know. Anyway, this is a cool, you know, this is a, actually, let me see. This might be real abalone. Give me a minute. This is actually real abalone. So this is real abalone. You know, they do have resin poured on top of it. Um, and this is not a sterling piece. Um, it's costume, but it's very pretty. Well, I think it's very pretty. Very wearable, very sellable. So there you go. That's nice. I know this is going to be so loud. Uh, I want this. Look at this cool vintage pelican. I want that piece. How do I get that out of here? Oh my gosh. Well, okay. So this, let's see. I'm just going off screen for a minute to shake and bake. I'm shaking and baking it, shaking it, shaking it. Looking for all out. Doug, don't eat the jewelry. Do not eat the jewelry. Oh my gosh. So my puppy, Bowie who's in here right now with Apple and they're play fighting and they've managed to open the door. Um, he eats jewelry, he eats anything. He might have pica. The more you know. Um, 
and he got stung. He ate a bee or tried to eat a bee the other day. Oh, this is cool. There's a little bit of schmutz. Ew, is that schmutz? What is that? Give me a minute. Um, yeah, yeah, there's something. There's schmutzy on there, but okay. But besides, eh, it's a cool piece. I like it. Has some wear, as you can see. But I'm still putting this in the lot now. I'm putting stuff in as is. Okay, it is schmutz. And I'm not going to sit here and individually clean every single piece. This, though, I might get a Q-tip in there with some rubbing alcohol and see what I can do. This piece, in my opinion, even though there is wear, I would sell this individually as a, a single piece. Just because it is an older, cool vintage piece. Very Aztec, Mexican. Mexican maybe from Peru. Looks more Mexican to me, though, actually. I don't know. But um, I'm going to put it in this lot. But I have to remind myself that I do have to try to clean that schmutzy off there. Okay, what's this one? I know I was telling a story and now I don't know what I was saying. Welcome to my brain. This is cute. We've got the gold and silver tone. It's an Avon necklace. What's in there? What's this? What's this? Okay. Obviously, these are all necklace slots. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, this one has wear. Okay, oh, yeah, this has too much wear, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I can't. The, the the glass is very pretty. This will go into a crafter's lot. The glass is really lovely, but the gold is just too, it's not cool enough for it to be worn in that way, I don't think. Yeah, crafter lot. <sighs> I don't know. What, what is this? <sighs> Craft, not crafter, just, it's, it's not, this, there's no way this is real, so. I should probably test it, but I'm sure I did. If that was real, I would have known. So I'm <laughs> putting it in there. Now, if you do buy this lot and you're like, Kirsten, you were so wrong. That was 18 karat gold, da, da, da. Well, then send me a cookie or something from a store already prepackaged. I can't take any home, you know, baked goods from people I don't know. But I do appreciate the sentiment. Um, this is, what is this? Is this Tiger's Eye? Yeah. And gold tone. There we go. Oh, I love these. We've all seen these. And, you know, these are just cool things. This is just a cool thing. Cool thing. The wire wrapped. Uh, this is old school. It looks like it's missing a little bit of its wire right there, but it's tightly woven. It's not loose. So can I? I'm not going to fit. You know, I'm selling these things. I'm not going to. I would still sell it like this, but I'm just disclosing. Looks like maybe they ended it there. I don't know. Oh, wait. Can I magically fix that? Maybe I can. Anyway. It's like a little tree of life, a little beaded tree, and these are amethyst chips. Very sweet. And this one's, besides the fact that it looks like it ended a little too soon, the wire wrapping, it's in great condition. So that is going to go in there. Are we counting? Do we even know how many necklaces that is? I have not a clue. Okay, let me see if I can shake this out. Shaking it to see if anything else will fall out. Oh, no. No, these are pretty, pretty tangled. Okay, then. I'm not dealing with that. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. So... Let's just throw, since I don't want to do all necklace slots, look at these cool clip-ons. Funky Chunky. Go in there, Funky Chunky. What's this? No, I'm moving the camera. I'm pulling things from the box because the whole point is to get rid of the stuff, right? This is, okay. Oh, these are cool glass beads. There you go. Oh, boy. Mom, 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 mom. No, plastic fantastic, so maybe something else. So what's this? This is a choker. That goes in there. What else? What else? Ooh, what's in the triple baggy thing? There's like three things in the triple bag thing. I don't know. What does that mean? It means I got lazy is what it means. Oh, what? oh those are kind of cool. What's this? Oh, nice. These, remember, this is all costume, okay? Uh, we got lion earrings. Oh, these are very uh, Givenchy looking. You know what I mean? They have that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's going to go in there. Why not? Um, these, I think I'll hold off and sell these individually as a buy it now because I love these. These are really cool, and I do like this type of thing. I don't wear a lot of costume. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, there's wear to them. Is that wear, or can I get that off? Well, okay. If I can clean this up, 
even though it's a costume, I'll bring these to, you know, one of my live sales because I do take breaks from the auctions in the middle of them, you know, and do buy it nows. Because besides the fact that there's a little discoloration there, I think these are really cool. Um, I really do like these ethnic coin gypsy-esque belly dancing type thing. Um, so hopefully I can clean that up. So let me put that to the side. See, this is where it becomes... Mm. Ooh. Oh, man. These are Indian wedding jewelry. Now, these are costume. Um, I've had actual real Indian wedding jewelry where they're not costume. Um, and, oh, my God. Oh, talk about the skill and craftsmanship and unbelievable 22 karat gold. Very soft gold. But these are missing pieces to them. There's missing some black little pieces there and some faux pearls and these unfortunately are not worth me fixing up so these are gonna have to go into a crafters total bummer though because if they weren't messed up they're very pretty very very pretty but crafter lot okay and you look like sarah cub and you are missing missing a rhinestone crafters lot okay how long is this video? Are we, are we too long? Am I doing okay? Am I phone in the wrong direction? Oh my gosh. Who knows? I am recording, right? Oh my God, wait. <laughs> okay, I am. <laughs> oh, that would just be perfect for me. Okay, here we go. This fun little costume piece. You know, it's supposed to look like Egyptian. That will go into this lot. So this lot's becoming a big, chunky, nice lot, in my opinion. Oh, what's in here? Oh, these all earrings yes okay so how about these look at these big big hoops let me make sure they're wearable let's see there we go that's gonna go in there now obviously this lot's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the other one because this is big um and it's gonna have to go into probably a bigger flat rate i'm assuming but when i do quote you a price it will include the price of that shipping just keep that in mind um the bigger lots, I will not be individually wrapping the stuff in. I will try to do the best I can so it doesn't get completely tangled. But smaller light lots like this, I'll, they're not going to be individually wrapped, but I'll do like a couple necklaces at a time just because necklaces like this, if you're anything like me, you do not want to deal with this. Okay, so I'll do the best that I can. Look at what? These are huge. These are earrings. They're post earrings. No backs. Those are fun. Okay, sure. What else do we have in here that I can bring? Oh, no, these are too cool. Now, these are... <laughs> Wait, let me make sure these are okay. Whoa. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm laughing. I know I should show you what I'm laughing at. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now, these are coming to my sale. These are going to be buy it now. These are awesome. Maybe I'll keep them. I don't know. These are awesome. They're just big, obnoxious, but really pretty at the same time oh no look at these okay these will be at my sale on thursday as a buy it now if anyone is interested i'll just make sure that all the little dangles are there are they looks like it okay i'm gonna move these over to my my other table where i will clean and price individually okay see sometimes it's not so bad going through your scary closets or drawers or under your bed or Oh, these are fun. Look at these fun, like little, these are like, well, it's kind of weird. Okay, wait, wait, let me re rephrase this. Hold on. Well, this part's nice. This is like a raffia, which is a little odd. Maybe we can fluff them out. And... When I lived in um, the tropics for a while, I saw women making this kind of stuff and unbelievable, like on the beaches and everything and selling them. Okay, well, ew, no, eh. Bye. Nope, sorry, can't do that to you. Don't know what that is. Is there any other cool tropical? I mean, we're getting into like warm. Oh, look at these. Let me make sure these are okay. Oh my God, okay. We've got these tassels. The hot, hot pink and gold tone. This is a big lot. I hope you all, I hope someone buys it because if not, you know what's gonna happen. I have to be honest. After I do this and I put them in lots, if they don't sell, ugh, unfortunately, they just get put right back into a bin and into a closet. No pressure there. Just little costume, fun little pieces. Put that in that lot. 
Okay. Is this is this why is this getting boring? Are you all okay? Oh man, these were oh bummer. Well, they have a little bit of scratching on the faux pearl, so phew, but they're not bad. I mean, they're not they're not side pieces or anything, but you know, if someone is trying to get that Chanel look or Yves Saint Laurent look for pennies, but they are a little scratched up and that might not go over so well. So unfortunately. These are going to have to go into a crafter's lot. Total bummer. Although I will put them in little separate bags so they don't get even worse. Um, yeah. I guess that's what I'm going to do. Bummer. Okay. It happens. It happens. Oh, this is all earrings. I don't know. Do we really want to even do this to ourselves? Do we want to go through all this? Are they all pairs? I don't even know if they're pairs. This looks like a pair. Let's see. Is it open and close? Are my hands gross? Ew. Okay, so, oh, okay. Now these are cute little costume. They have little crystals in them. Okay, it's a little pair and they're in nice condition. So why not? Why not? And then we'll do these. These are like, uh, these are supposed to look like jade. They're just, you know, acrylic faux. But it's a pair and they're in like totally wearable, sellable, you know, lovely condition. So I'll put those in there as well. What's this? Trying to find the pairs. Oh, oh, I must have been nice to myself. There's another pair. We'll put that in there as well. Now, I think this, I don't want to get this too, too big. Here's a pair of, are these gold leafed? Um, these look like these might actually be gold leafed on top of real leaves. They're pretty solid, but they kind of look like that. So I mean, with the veining in the back. So there we go. Those are cool. Um, I don't want it to get too heavy because I want it to be able to fit in a, you know, flat rate. Let's see, what are these? Oh, I like these. These are cool. Let me make sure they're okay condition. Yeah, they are. Is it glass or? Um, I think it's acrylic. Okay. Okay. All right. Look, this is just a bunch of stuff in here now. I'm just going to move that stuff away. Move that stuff away. Um, let's throw a couple bracelets in there, right? Because we need to have some bracelets. So let's throw some bracelets. Um, Another bracelet. Oh boy, oh my God, what is this stuff? Hold on. Okay. I'm trying. Is it in condition? Good, wearable, sellable? Wearable, sellable? No, ew. ew. No. Oh God, no. Oh, I don't like ickies. Okay, there we go. Tangle. But I like this chain, so let me get this chain out to put it in there because this is a cool, a cool thing for pendants. Oh, okay, I'm breaking something. Ignore the fact that I just broke a necklace, okay? Just ignore that. You didn't hear me break this. There we go. I like these. I do. These little uh, dash ball, dash ball. There's those babies again. Hold on. Let's see if I can shut this door because it's so obnoxious. Okay. I don't know if that's going to help. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Well, I think this is a lovely lot. Um, and just to top it off, why not? Let's see. Um, yes, we've got the dogs. There must be a delivery. I don't know. I'm going to stick these two really lovely. I think they're signed, signed brooches in here. So we have lot one. And lot one, you get gold tone and silver tone. These are all wearable, sellable, in really nice conditions. And then we will do lot two which is this lot, lot two, which is just costume jewelry, fun, wearable, sellable. Um, I'm gonna probably add some more, but I have these, oh, oh, yep, yep. There she goes, that's gonna go in there too, why not? I'm just ignoring the fact that I wanna scream at my dogs right now. Oh, these are pretty. India, obviously, very nice. Okay, then we've got lot number two. If you're interested in either of these, if you're still here, thank you so much, wow. Um, wasn't expecting the dogs to continuously bark, but this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope everyone is well. Stay safe. I give you lots of hugs and love. Bye bye. Oh, look at this cool ring that I found. I know it's kind of ugly, but it's really kind of cool. Look at the stone. Do you see the beauty in there? Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, so pretty, but the stone's loose. Hear it? It's annoying, but anyway. So I can't sell it because I don't want to sell that kind of ring. Unless someone's interested, you let me know. But anyway, that's confusing. Let's just deal with this first. Okay. 
I love you all. This is part two of help me clean my hoard out. I'm sure there's going to be like a year's worth. So God help me. God help you. I love you all. Bye-bye.